Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we just recently got Don Hang, Embibitor Lune version of Don Hang. We were lucky enough to only have to go 30 into pity on his banner in order to get him, which was extremely lucky because I did not have guaranteed pity. So, with our incredible luck, today we want to build up Embibitor Lune. Now, I didn't pre-prepare any mats because, to be completely honest, I did not expect to get them. So, as you'll see here, we have no Traveler's Guides. We have 1.7 million credits which is decent uh but i don't have any of the boss mass prepared don't have any of the destruction materials prepared so today we have a lot to do and a lot to get in order to completely max out my embibber lune and try to build them as best as possible so without further ado let's get in to the video look at that the earth there is 7 billion people on planet earth and yet i still only has 50,000 subscribers what are you doing subscribe already so we can hit 7 billion subscribers not just kidding but you really should subscribe it does really help me out a lot and only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed so really every single subscriber really does help me out and i know it can take a lot of effort to go down and hit that button but it really is only two seconds and it does help but without further ado let's get back in to the video Alrighty, well the first thing we should probably do in order to build embibitor lune is upgrade all of his levels currently he is sitting at a clean level 40 well not very clean kind of rough around the edges but we're gonna need to get him all the way to level 70 and in order to do that we need to get a bunch of these surprise Pressing edic materials and in order to do that we have to find this stagnant shadow which i actually haven't got to yet so let's head over there all right now where is this boss all the way up these stairs over those stairs okay let's go there up here down here and there is the new boss wait well it's actually just a reused model but for some reason it wasn't in the game before it's now just in the game now but it doesn't matter let's try and kill the aromontan gatekeeper i fought this thing like a thousand times probably won't be too interesting of a fight so we will just montage our way through it And each time we complete it, we're going to get five of these tags, meaning I believe we only have to do this about five more times to get a total of 30 tags. And as you can see my clear time, we're absolutely smashing it. With just a few Kafka E's and a couple DOTs, this fight proves to be pretty easy. Boom. Until he blocks off all his weaknesses. Then it proves to be a little problematic. Dead. Nice. Four more times to go. I wonder if my auto team can do it. Go auto team. Oh yeah, and DOT finished him off. Let's go. But it actually seems to take longer with auto somehow. Time to say bye. And just like that, we should have all the tags we need. Were you impressed by my Serval's damage in that fight? Because you should be. I decided to build like the most OP Serval for no reason at all. Good attack, good speed, decent crit rate crit damage, decent light cone, decent traces, damn good relics, and idle on five. I wish I had the six, but I'm kind of broke. But that's not who we're focusing on today. Where is he? In Lune, you're the one I want to upgrade. And finally, I have your next ascension. Let's ascend you. And can we level you up again? Perfect. Perfect. Level 50, Embibitor Lune. Level 60 now. Let's level you up some more. And I'm out of EXP books. This is going to be a problem. Luckily for me, I can maybe get some from the daily missions. Do they not give you EXP books from this? Surely they do. Use a consumable? Come on. Let's go 12 Adventures Logs. Let me complete your mission. Oh, hello there. Take your picture. All right. All right. Smile. Or just sit there and look kind of odd as the guy in blonde hair points his finger at you. Maybe this photo will impress your crush, Lavon. Will she fall in love with you? I don't know. I mean, it wasn't the greatest photo ever. Sorry, man, she didn't like you. 
I didn't want to be the one to break the news, but you know, somebody had to do it. Anyways, these should be our final daily mission rewards and no EXP bucks. Ah, it's fine. We can buy some from the store. I did just spend a, a bunch of wishes. Maybe I can buy some from here. Um, yeah, here we go. Give me uh 47. Sounds good. And now we should be able to get him to level 60, please. Let's go ascend again. Oh, oh man, bro. Am I dumb? Alrighty, and now we should have enough to ascend them. Let's look and check. Please tell me I have enough. I do. Let's go. And why is there an exclamation point over Asta? Oh, I have a right on six. Cool. That will never get used. But I also have an exclamation point over Don Hang. Oh, because I haven't got the Star Rail passes. Oh, well, 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 if you don't say, if you guys don't know. Every single time you get your Don Hang and Beberlune Star Rail passes, you are guaranteed to get a five star on the standard banner. Every single time you get your Beberlune raised to level 70 with these three poles, you are guaranteed a crap. We got a hook. Cool. That's okay though, because usually it's not on the first. Usually it comes on the second roll. Most typically you're guaranteed a five star. Not that time, but actually usually it happens on that third random poll that you're not sure where you got it from but it just happens to be there this is usually when you get your five star ah maybe next time three more closer to the guaranteed though we'll get there next year all right next thing we have to do is just start leveling them up all the way to level 70 and i'm out of exp books uh <laughs> How much trailblaze power do I have left? 60 plus I have an extra five here. Let's go an extra five trailblaze power. Now, if we go and do one run of the EXP book domain, that isn't the right game. And bro, my brain is so scrambled today. It's like a fried omelet. All right. Well, we have to do six of these against some silly looking bird enemies. Should be easy enough. Honestly, I don't need a healer. Who needs a healer while fighting a bunch of birds? They're just going to die in one hit. All right. Let's just auto through it. We'll get through this. Let's go. And is that enough? Oh, definitely not. Oh, definitely, definitely not. How far can I take him? Can we at least take him like a little bit farther? Uh, level 65? I mean, it's not terrible. All right, well, it looks like I'll have to use some of my Trailblaze power on the Golden Butt of Memories here. So let's use two of these. Hopefully that will be enough EXP books to take him all the way to that level 8, 80, 70. All right, I believe I have everything I need now. Hopefully, please tell me that's enough, I beg. Level up. No, four levels. Oh my gosh, I need one more. Fine, you know what I'll do? I'll spend the rest of my little undying embers on some adventure logs. I was gonna save these for something else, but it's fine. Don Hang is more important and he deserves it. All the way to level 70, he goes. There you go, my boy. Level 70, Don Hang. First part done. Nextly, nextly. That's not a word. Next, we need a light cone. And um, yeah, if you look at my options, they're not too good. Unfortunately, every single good destruction light cone for Dunhang, I don't have. I don't have any of them. This one is a gotcha light cone, I believe. This one is battle pass. Three of them are five stars. I don't have enough to buy on the fall of an ion. The only one left is secret vow, which I believe is also a gotcha light cone. I mean, maybe there's one I can buy in the shop is there no it's the stupid dog one this one is meant for like not done hang i'll tell you that much it's not meant for him i mean increasing attack by 10 percent would be good i guess oh i need something for you though anything do i have anything for you i mean i guess i could give you the clara light cone increasing attack by 28 percent isn't a bad thing and restoring hp also isn't a bad thing i mean there's nothing wrong with this light cone it's just it's not the most optimal choice for him but i really have nothing else so there you go don hang and you are going to be using the clara light cone oh that's so copium Next things next is going to be the uh, traces, but I have to do a lot of grinding for traces. I don't believe um, I really have enough to activate these right now. 
So I think we're gonna get these a little bit of the ways up, but I can't take them all the way because I need to go and grind some shattered blades for him. But before we go and we do any grinding for the shattered blades, I do want to quickly look for a good relic set for him because I do believe I have some pretty good relics for him. Essentially, we're just gonna want a lot of crit stats, we're gonna want a lot of speed, and we want a lot of attack. First thing we got here is this crit rate piece with 24 crit damage. I like that from him. We're gonna steal that from Yu Kong and we're gonna put it on our Embibitor Lune. Next thing, we're gonna need a pair of speed boots or attack boots, uh, preferably speed though. I have a couple good options like this one right here with crit rate crit damage on it. I like that one. Speed is never a bad option. Let's go with that. Nextly, next, stop saying nextly. Next, we're going to need a pair of attack gloves, preferably a lot of crit rate crit damage, maybe some speed, lots of good options, but I think we're going to go with the one here with six speed, crit rate crit damage, and break effect. I like that piece. And then last but not least, we're going to need a good hat. And I have one right here with some crit rate crit damage. I'm going to take it. And there we go. We got our two piece, two piece for him. Now, all we're going to need is a good orb and a good rope, which um I may or may not have, uh, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, I'm going to try to get energy regeneration for him because I need that more than anything right now. Energy regeneration is really important. I guess we can take the plus 15 one off silver wolf for right now, even though it's not the greatest ever. And then we need one with imaginary damage bonus. Do I have anything? Crit damage, break effect. I think that's my best option. We'll use the one on Welt here. That's still pretty bad. Wait, that's physical damage. I'm okay. I'm not gonna lie. This one's terrible, but I literally have no other options. There is no other choice. Here you go, Don Hang. This is what you're gonna have to use. Let's see what your stats are looking like now. Decently good. We got 1700 attack, 55, 121 crit rate, crit damage with 144 speed. Pretty decent. However, we can make it better if we upgrade his traces, which we're going to do after we go and grind a little bit of blade. So let's head over to the calcs and start the grind. And actually, why don't we, for the very first time, try out our Embibitor Lune. We'll put him on a team with Ting Yun. We'll put him on a team with Silver Wolf. And then also, we'll throw a little Natasha in there as well for some healing. Or just replace Embibitor Lune. I didn't want him anyways. Let's try that again. You're going to be going in the first slot. Here we go. Okay, let's see how he does here. And Bibber Lune, it's your time to shine, my friend. E enhance, E enhance, and blast! Okay, not as much damage as I wanted to see. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more. And Silver Wolf is almost dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might have made a mistake. Silver Wolf is already dead. Okay, I'm gonna not do this right now. Okay, maybe we should wait till his traces are actually leveled. Clearly, he's doing no damage right now. One second. Let's try this again, but this time without Embibber Lune. Okay, well, I'm gonna let this auto for the next 10 minutes because we have a lot of crap to go through, uh, but I'll come back to this in about an hour or so. All right, 10 months later, and I think we finally have all the mats we need to finally level up our traces for our Embibitor Lune. Let's see if we can completely max out every single last one of his traces besides the level 80 ones because we don't have enough for those. But we're gonna max out everything else. And we're already out of materials. Oh boy. Well, can we at least make some more possibly? Six more. I don't know what that's enough for. That's gotta be enough for something though, surely. Let's see. All right, we can get one last talent to level five. We're gonna do his ultimate. And now he's at five, five, three. And unfortunately, that's all the resin I have for today. Maybe with the like very last bit of my embers, I can get a couple more lifeless blades. I can get 12. Oh, there goes all my embers. I can't even buy the wishes anymore. I'm going broke for you, Embibber Lune. You better be worth it. All right. Can we at least upgrade them to 6-6? Six, six? Okay, we can do 6-6. Six, six. We'll get 6 on the ultimate, and then we'll get 6 on the enhanced enhance ability there we go and now we have six. Oh wait we could do one more oh level seven and level seven again let's go and now we have seven seven five three not the best in the world and we probably would like a little bit more on the normal attack but overall i think it's pretty decent maybe we could have done a slight bit better but honestly i will take these talents and finally that is our finished don hang let's take a look at his stats for the final version of him. Now he is at 1800 attack, 62, 128 crit rate, crit damage with 139 speed and 
112 energy regeneration, 30% effect hit rate, which doesn't matter too much, and 58% imaginary damage bonus. His relics are going to be all plus 15, uh, besides the orb and the rope, which we should take a little bit further, but I just don't have the materials right now. And then he is currently idle on zero. I think it's finally time to take our little Embibitor Lune, the final version of him, for a spin. Finally, we can actually test out a good version of Embibitor Lune. Let's see here. We'll, of course, use him. And honestly, I like the team comp we had set up here before with Natasha, Don Hang, Tang Yun, and Silverwolf. Let's enable this team and head on out. And why don't we head over to the Forbidden Forgotten Hall? Let's go. What's up, Messenger? I like your face. All right, now what level do I try him out at? I'm just gonna try and find one that has somebody with an imaginary type weakness. So not this one. Level five, no imaginary. Any imaginary weakness? No. Bro, does nobody have imaginary weakness? Oh my gosh. Two? Finally, somebody with imaginary weakness and they match our level. Perfect. So we're gonna go the same team that we said with Embibber Lune, Ting Yoon, Silverwolf, and then actually let's go Gepard since he has an ice weakness. We'll go Gepard in the last slot and let's try out this team. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, we got two enemies. Okay. This is probably the most skill-friendly team I can make. Ting Yun and Gepper don't take that much. Neither does Silver Wolf. So hopefully we'll be able to absolutely crush these enemies with some absolutely huge level four blast attacks. Let's go. First thing we do, buff Don Hang immediately. Then we go into the Ting Yun burst and we're gonna get up at that blast attack immediately. Then we're gonna do a little debuff with Silver Wolf. There we go. And now it's time boom boom blast attack or wait that wasn't the highest level one that's fine now we get his ultimate and now we crush things let's go boom i love this blast attack there we go that's the big damage i was looking for okay let's keep moving and now we can save up skill points because we don't have to use the e ability again and now we get even more stacks with our embedded lune and now everything on the field dies Boom, look how much health he took. And we don't even have to use any more E skills. We can save again. We can keep saving. And now, another big burst. Go. Boom, 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 boom. He is dead. That is so much fun. We gotta try that again. Oh my goodness, I love this character. And I think this is actually a super good team for him. Let's go again. Let's keep moving. Big Gepper burst. Oh, and look at that. We already have his ultimate up. Immediately into ultimate. Let's freaking go boom oh my gosh that that one shot one of the birds there we go and now we're gonna do our level three enhance attack and demolish every enemy on the field huge oh my goodness we have another burst we get our burst back so fast look at that can you plus and bitter lune is so op it's so unbelievably cracked die boom and now in bitter lune with all your stacks absolutely crush this guy oh just barely just barely we're gonna let him get the final hit come on Ember Lune, you got this go all in oh my goodness look at that damage well that was a Ember Lune, and now we have a level one shushang uh to face on two hordes of enemies we're not gonna do that well my friends that was Ember Lune building i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i sure did that was a ton of fun, and I'm hoping that in the future we'll be able to build them even better because this is not the final version of my Bibber Lune. He will get better over time, and hopefully I'll be able to build him on an even more crack set. But for today, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future, please consider leaving a like down below or subscribing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.